Hello, 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 people, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm here back with you again. And, and I have been away for a really, really long time. I haven't done a gameplay video in, uh, well, I can't even remember the last time it was it. And, uh, well, that's just because that I haven't really been home. Well, let's just start with. Um, I couldn't, I've been working abroad, so I couldn't get to my PC and um, I, couldn't, I couldn't do really nothing. And, but, uh, well, I'm, I'm back now. I'm pretty much back home. And, uh, as you can see, playing a little bit of Battlefield 3. Well, this will be my first Battlefield 3 commentary in uh, English. I do have one Battlefield 3 gameplay in, um, well, it was really probably a long time to go as well. I, I, I even think there was no, no DLCs at that time yet out. Well, but a little bit of induction of myself. Uh, well, my name is Alans, and I am a big game lover, you could say it like that. And, uh, you know, a big game lover, a big game lover. A big um, FPS and a big Dota 2 lover, actually. You know, since I've been back, I've been back home for five months right now. Uh, and ever since I've came back, um, I, pl I, I did, I did play a little bit of Battlefield 3. Um, this is basically just only two games left for me to play: it's Battlefield 3 and Dota 2. Dota 2 came out. Uh, well, it actually came out a long while ago. Already. It's still a beta, but you can you can call it like the full game because I don't think the beta will end soon. So, so yeah. Basically, as I said, I wanted to duck myself, and uh, yeah. Basically, as you can see, playing Operation Metro right now. But let's start with my induction with my first-person shooters. Well, I started to play the first-person shooters actually when I was oh, well, I think I was seven years old. Oh, if I'm not wrong, seven, eight years old. I was. And what I did start to play with it was Counter Strike 1.1, 1 .1. I and mean, it was the. I actually had a look at the screenshots from that game, uh, right, like now, and I remembered that at that point there was like no, the internet cafe, cafes were so expensive. And, like I was begging my parents to give me some money to go and play some Counter Strike with the big guys, with the big boys, you know. Everybody's like 16 years old, and I was like, oh yeah, so small. I, I remember I was failing badly, but you know, you, can, you need to start with something. So basically, yeah, the, well, I started with that, and ever since, I, I was playing Counter-Strike for probably for 7, 8 years. You know? um, and I only finished it because, uh, well, 1.6 is getting older and older and older, and the new Counter-Strikes which came out, they didn't really, they, they weren't really nice to play for example I didn't find the Counter Strike Source nice you know and um, well that was the reason why I left it really and um, yeah as you can see uh, the next game for the first person shooters which I which I played was I think I stitched yeah I switched to Call of Duty 4 at that point already there was really nice graphics so Call of Duty 4 came out and I remember oh my god how much did I love that game I was I, I had like 700 hours in well a couple of months, <laughs> not a couple of months. Well, so I think it took me four, four or five months, 700 hours. Okay, so that maybe doesn't sound like a lot, but it was quite an impressive time. I, I do think so. And um, yeah, Call of Duty 4. Then Call of Duty 5 came out, which I did try out, and I found it. I find it. Well, I did find it, and it's really, really shit. And I was so upset at that moment. I was thinking, yeah, the new Call of Duty coming out, and the World of War came out, and I was like, oh my goodness gracious. This is like the worst game I could possibly imagine. Well, whatever, I stick to the Call of Duty 4. Uh, yeah, I stick to that game, and, uh, well, you know, you need, you need to do something. And, uh, and then, uh, Next year, uh, Call of Duty 6 came out, so Call of Duty Modern War for our second part. And uh, that, that game was... Well, I, I did find it a little bit, like, less. Um, like, I remember when I was when I started to play Call of Duty 4, uh, and when I started to play Call of Duty 6, I wasn't so excited about it, you know. I, I, w I was thinking that I'm already a good player, so I don't need to know all this stuff and everything. 
but yeah, well, I started to play the Call of Duty 6, and I played it, I played it, and then there was a moment when, um, one of my friends told me, why do you play Call of Duty, it's so shit and everything, and I said, well, I do like it a lot, you know, I'm quite good at it as well, so, it's a nice game and everything. And then he was like, why well, haven't you tried Battlefield out? And I remember I've tried Battlefield out, like, well, a really, really long time ago, it was Battlefield 2 at that point. I remember these, uh, well, Gulf of Oman, you know, and all these maps which we have, like, in a strike of car can package, you know, all these maps are really, really old. So, yeah, and, uh, I remember playing them. So... And I was like, nah, I didn't like it because it had so many vehicles in it and, like, there's no infantry and, well, the graphics were shit and blah, blah, blah. But no. I don't remember. And he told me, I can give you my Steam account and try out the Battlefield Bad Company 2. I don't remember I was playing it. Uh, I was playing it when, um, wait, I can't remember right now when I was playing it, but it was, um, Oh yeah, it was single player, you know, but there is a lot of games out there which the single player is like really, really good, and then the multiplayer is shit, and the other way around, which means the multiplayer is just awful piece of crap, and, you know, and the multiplayer, and then the single player is really good, and the other way around, basically. So yeah, and, um, I started to play Bad Company 2. And the first point, in the first two, three weeks, I said, Oh, no, 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 this game is not for me, I'm Call of Duty, all about Call of Duty. And yeah, and I said to myself that, no, I'm not switching to this game, but starting to play, because, you know, Call of Duty, I'll play a bit of Call of Duty, for example, three hours a day, I wasn't working at that point. And I was playing Call of Duty for three hours a day, and then for one hour, we could just go bad company to you. Just, just to have a little bit of fun, some, dif some difference in the games. And after those two, three weeks, I understood that, you know what, I actually do like this game a lot better than Call of Duty. And I was thinking it's probably just for a moment, just for a little while, it's probably not, it'll, it probably won't last too long, you know, and I'll be back to Call of Duty in no time. But then, one month, two months, three months, four months, and then half a year and a year, and I wasn't, and I didn't even touch my Steam account, which I had my, uh, battle, well, ba sorry, my Call of Duty on. So, Call of Duty basically stayed left side, and I got a really, really good deal with Steam, and I think it was Steam, Steam Spring Sale, wasn't it, or something like that, and I got Call of Duty, uh, sorry, Battlefield, Bad Company 2, for like, uh, well, I don't kind of $14, and with all the DLC packages and everything. It's basically quite a good price. And then, what happened next was that, um, there was an announcement of Battlefield 3, of course. No, no I was the time when I was playing Battlefield Bad Company 2. And I remember I got really excited. And straight on that point, I started to play beta as well, as straight as it came out. I remember in beta, it was only Operation Metro, I remember. It was so many bugs, I remember the spawn beacons were like, you can put a spawn beacon and it will never, it will never stop existing unless uh, somebody destroys it. There were so many other bugs, like, wow, I can't, I can't even. I can't even remember them all, but I remember I was laughing my ass at some of them. I remember people, people walking on the ground and then shooting everybody else. And but it was it was really good by that beta. And I remember the graphics were so awesome. The graphics were just like the best thing ever. So yeah, I played the beta, and I straight away knew that uh, well to play the proper enjoy Battlefield 3, I need to upgrade my PC ASAP. Uh, at the point when the Battlefield 3 came out, I already got my PC upgraded, so I bought a new GPU, a new CPU, and, um, yeah, I put us all, all these things in. And guess what? I still couldn't play Battlefield 3 at the maximum settings. I still can't really right now, I still, I already changed my cooling, I changed my GPU once again, so basically I changed three GPUs through three years time. And, uh, I still kind of play it on the maximum settings, but... Actually, I don't need it anymore. Let's start with that as well. Because, for me, I've been playing Battlefield 3 for a while. I've been I've been playing it um, since it came out, as I said. But then I left it for a while, because I, um, well, I just went into the Dota 2 world. I, I'm still am 
You know, these are the two games which I'm playing right now. Is uh, Dota 2 and uh, Battlefield 3. So as I'm saying, it's just uh, it's just the difference of the mood or the difference of the day. You know, when you come come home and this this game, whichever you would like to play tonight, you know, or if you have a day off, and you just spend all day playing in it. And yeah. So basically, with the Battlefield 3, um, it's been it's been all around. Like uh, I I bought premium package as well, so I got all the DLCs. And at that point, when I, I got really at one point, I got really really bored of Battlefield 3. Went to Dota 2. I thought, I was playing maybe Battlefield 3 once in three three weeks. Okay. Or if somebody of my friends would be just like, oh yeah man, I haven't seen you in a while on the Battlefield. You know, let's go play some some game. Play some, some, play some shit. <laughs> um, but I was like, no, 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 mate. No, I'm, I'm bored of it, and just like I can't be bothered with it. So I'm just like going to play my Dota 2. Now, a couple of weeks ago, two of my Dota 2 friends bought Battlefield 3. So I was like, okay, guys, you know, I've been playing Battlefield 3 for a really long time. So give you some advices, you know, let's play, let's, let's play a little bit of Battlefield 3 together. And then those three, three, four weeks, or basically a month ago, I just came back to it. And now, I'm just all back to it again. You know, I'm playing the same old map, which I played uh, the start when it just came out. Still doing it, as you can see at the minute I'm playing Operation Metro, uh, which is in Rush. Rush mode. Um, so, yeah. And, um, yeah. Well, what else can I tell you? What else can I tell you? Oh yeah, basically what I actually all this video through, I wanted to talk to you about. I made this video basically just because of the one idea. The idea of the video is I would like to tell to people. I don't know really how many people actually watch this and how many people actually take it serious. But the thing is that I wanted to make this video for people that I want to point out there's 80% of the Battlefield 3 players which has no has, has no freaking idea has not a single clue how to play this map which I'm playing right now which is called Operation Metro as you can see through the game throughout the game right now which has been going on you know I've been rushing and I've been doing stuff and I've been dying and I've been killing so everything's going smooth for me basically I'm not, I'm not bothered with like with dying there is this one hell of a problem in this game. There are so many people who are looking at their KD, KD ratio, and they will just sit back for like the rest of their freaking lives, and they won't even move a little bit of the freaking thing. As you can see, we took the t two points at the minute, like uh, two last points just now, and we are moving on to two next points, A, B. This is the hardest, this is the, I think this is the most hardest part in Operation Metro Rush. These two points are the hardest ones to take. Because you need to walk upstairs. The enemy team is already upstairs, but you need to walk up in the blindness. So you can't see anyone. You can't really know where they are sitting. You, know, you can just basically make up just a small bat, a small bat maybe. When somebody arrives you like this and then you just basically run up and you think, Oh yeah, this guy killed me there. Okay, I'll get him now. But, there is one big problem which is missing in Operation Metro in Battlefield 3. That's team play. Team play, team play, team play, team play. I know that all people will be telling me that, Oh, you know, this is pop server, so the pop server, there is no team play, possible, possible. You know, and, but, well, I don't, I don't really agree with that. You know, in this moment, you could actually see really well that I'm, I'm the only one walking up the stairs. There's a lot, I know there's a lot of enemy guys upstairs. But if we, if we just rush all of us up there, I, I don't see the problem. Why can't we rush in and just kill them all? You have seen a lot of moments throughout this game when I'm just running alone and I'm just killing like two, three guys at the moment, you know, and, and if this, every, every single guy of our team could do that, it would be a full team wipe of, of the enemy team, you know. Plan the damn calm, get everything done, you know, and everybody's happy in here as well, you know, I'm moving up, um, killed like, you know, I helped to kill one guy, I killed one guy, okay, two guys, 
and then I got killed. What, what was the what's the worst thing is that there's nobody behind me. I'm just running all alone, and that's that's really really upsetting, really upsetting. You're trying your best, and no other teammates are helping you out. I know there's a like as well a lot of people in the battlefield 3 which doesn't really know how to play yet and uh, they're struggling and everything you know that's understandable like because in, when I started to play this game I was shit as well you know I couldn't I couldn't kill a single person I was running with a score 1 to 10 and you know and you just need to, you need to get better in any game when you just start to play you need to get better so yeah but in this map I can tell you one good advice listening to me or if you take if you will take me serious this will be probably another advice never go in here never do the same thing what I just did basically just run here upstairs in here because this is the worst place to be at there's both sides the people are launching grenades on you you know you probably die non-stop in there so don't do that but my main advice in this map especially in rush mode is use one single thing Assault M320 small grenades, not M320 grenade launcher, or M320 whatever, or M26 uh, mass, whatever. No, 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 forget that. Use M320 if you do have it available, of course. You know, use M320 small grenades, smoke everything the fuck out in here. Because if you do that, enemy team won't see anything. Your main goal is to plant MCOM, you know, to charge MCOM call whatever you want to call it but that's your target so basically that's what you need to do and a lot of people doesn't understand that a lot of people are just sitting there like a sitting duck so like this basically you can see people are just standing there they are standing there and I'm moving anywhere so you know it's just so sad really and I'm, I'm a little bit of raging in there but you know that's understandable so yeah, you can see that there's a lot of people like who cannot play. Like actually, if if we are looking at this percentagely, there are probably about 80% of the people who are playing uh, here don't know, don't have any clue how to play this map. Like I don't even know what to say anymore. And uh, what I wanted to continue about is that yeah, when when I came back to Battlefield 3, you know, and uh, I'm doing everything what's in my actual power. Rush, 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 rush as much as I can. And, uh, well, doing it pretty successfully as well. At least I do think so. I managed to get a kill kill from a guy, and, um, uh, you know. Well, actually, you know, actually what I wanted to talk about is just this, this Operation Metro thing that a lot of people just don't know how to play, really. And it's really late, late right now already, so I'll probably get off to sleep. And, but anyways, I would like to tell you, thank you for watching this video. Um, you can have a look later on. It's, 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 I know it's quite a long video, it's 24 minutes, 20, 25 minutes almost, you know, but it's, I think it's worth watching it. Because the um, uh, video will will last quite a long time, because at this point you can see we have 7, 6, 69 tickets left, and we, doesn't, we don't have any point staking yet. Over here is some whip, whipping ass from my side, but you know, as I said, just have a look at the video. And I'll probably be making some other videos as well, which will be probably a list a less uh, shorter than this one. We just have a look at this video, and I'll probably catch you soon. All right, guys, take care. Apex out.